What's going on, cryptocurrency universe? It's the Bitcoin miner here, guys, and I hope everybody's doing well. In today's video, we're going to do a server tour, server rack tour, if you will, because <laughs> there's nothing in it yet, but there will be. So we're going to check out this cool new rack, the location that I have found for it, which is going to be right over here in the corner of the dungeon. So let's go and take a quick look at this new server we were able to pick up, guys. Make sure to check on your uh, local uh, Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. This is a I'm I'm very happy with uh, what I was able to get for two hundred and fifty dollars, especially considering what I was gonna get. Um, so let's uh, take a look at what it is. So uh, this guy is got a double front door on it, which makes it really easy. It's lockable. So we can open either side. It's got a nice mesh screen on the front, which will make it easy for me to somehow filter this thing. Uh, if you have any good ideas for filtering it, please put them in the comments below. Uh, obviously we have cats and I've got to figure out a way to uh, make sure we don't filter it. I love the baffles that came with it. Uh, this would make it so much easier because I don't have to use the, I mean, I'll probably use it eventually, but uh, I don't have to use the very low area right away. Um, that way I don't have to worry about the dust as much. It's all enclosed, which makes it so much easier with the dust. It came with all of the rails, um, so that I can <laughs> fix all those wires. There are 250 wires plus coming out of that, uh, crazy supercomputer. So this is going to be very, very handy in order to put this in. Um, I keep using like a little ring light so I can see in here. Uh, and ponder about where and how I'm going to put stuff. And I got quite a few things on order. Uh, so I believe I can put maybe five of those uh, supercomputers in here. The uh, Orange Pi 5s. There's 125 Orange Pi 5s in that thing. If I could have to get it completed. It's still not done yet. I've been so busy trying to get the server rack into place. But uh, yeah, so the side rails pop off here which i'll take off here in a little bit and uh the doors open so and it came with some extra uh components up there i'm really actually excited about these support racks uh these will come in really handy to help uh sort of me to support the wires coming out of the box and keep the airflow going so yeah guys make sure to check your uh, local facebook or your craigslist there's definitely some opportunities out there so, yep, double opening doors. Okay, yeah, and it's got the PDU location here on the side. So you can attach a, your PDU on the inside, on this side, and it's got one on the other side we'll go look at. Okay. Here we go, here's the other wall. So, it's got a half opening door in the back which will make everything very accessible to get to. It is 26 inches deep and it is adjustable, but it's set at maximum depth as of right now. So that's 26 inches deep, which is perfect. The server is actually 26 inches deep so it'll hold it perfectly. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to find a way to patch the holes at the top. I will use that top left one. I'm going to be pulling in some power and, you know, other cables coming in. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really getting excited about this guy. Um, but yeah, let me go over to the other side. As you guys notice that, uh, light hanging. Look what I found in the garage. I bought this years ago. It got buried. Totally forgot about it. So, we're going to put some LED lights in the new server rack. <laughs> this is going to be fun. So, that is our mission now, is to go ahead and ponder about where and how we're going to load this bad boy up and install some lighting so I can actually see in there. But first is first, let's take off everything. Okay, I've got all the doors open and the side panels off. They're over there in the corner. 
So it's pretty airy now at this point, and I can actually access it to get to everything and figure out where and how I think is the best place to go ahead and start wiring where and how I'm going to uh, put things and, you know, take out some of the existing devices over here, like the uh, patch panel. Um, and where I think the best place for the LEDs is going to be. So what do you guys think? Hmm. Yeah, go ahead and leave me down in the comments below and let's see. All right, guys, I got the patch panel out and I think my best bet for running the LEDs because they have to connect. Um, they're two 14 inch, excuse me, 14 foot strips. Um, is probably going to be running it right out of the way somewhere on this rail on this outside corner uh, maybe right there in the middle so let me try measuring that off and then we'll keep moving forward so this is what happens when you give a custom computer builder a server case <laughs> i think i did a pretty good job running the cables guys um especially with what i was working with I had two 14 foot pieces. Uh, I really, really wanted a strip at the top, try to get some extra light in, but there's just no way to finesse this bad boy uh, to get that strip in. It was either two strips. Unfortunately, there's only one plug in. Um, so it was either two strips at the top on the sides or one strip at the top um, so I chose the two strips at the top so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna use these little white clips that came with it along with uh, some black zip ties and I'm gonna rub, use some alcohol really quick some rubbing alcohol because these things have some uh, sticky sides on it so I'm gonna basically wipe off the server case real quick and uh, Go ahead and attach these guys to the server case. This is looking pretty good. And it's got some pretty cool tricks too. I haven't quite figured out all the tricks yet, but hey. Are you gonna work for me? Nope. <laughs> there we go. All kinds of stuff. Anyways, lots of playing to do. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. So I'm starting to peel back the adhesive. It's super sticky. It's sticking really well. So I hope this uh, lasts a while. Uh, it doesn't have any problems. But I'm starting in the middle at the joint point right there. So this is, I decided to go ahead and move this in front of the baffle so it gets some light coming out of the front at the bottom. And uh, it just started peeling it back. And I'm working my way around coming up and then I'll use some black zip ties at periodic points just to kind of help to hold it so I'll keep working on this and check okay the right side is done I just have to go and do the left side now so it's looking really good all right guys we got all the LEDs in place looking really really good i'm getting excited about this build it's like a super large gaming rig <laughs> but uh yeah it's coming along pretty well so we're getting close i can't wait to see what it looks like with the doors on looking good ladies and gentlemen looking good i don't know why more people don't do this Hopefully it'll still look good with all the wires in it. I'm pretty sure it will. But let's see. Woo! I can actually see in here now to work. It was so dark before. This will make it so much easier to run all those wires and get everything all set up. All right, all right. The next thing to do is to uh, put some uh, rails in and kind of plan this whole thing out i'm going to use this bottom section to start with like i said i'm going to leave a section at the bottom for future expansion uh but for now i'm going to kind of block it off as like a dust blocker um 
since we have animals in the garage and we're gonna go ahead and start with the supercomputer I think right here or maybe we'll just put like uh, one box there and then put the supercomputer on top of it anyways I'll kind of think about that uh, and then kind of build it up as we go but let's see what kind of cool things this box can do I don't know how to use this remote yet but RGB Ooh, green so it's got a breathing oh, that's pretty cool more of a flash Oh, that's neat. Tracer light. <laughs> that's pretty cool. There's it traces it around. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I will close the video up here. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. There's a lot to do in the server case. See you guys. The next evolution in decentralized tech is here. Veris is a truly free, open-source blockchain protocol designed for privacy, safety, open participation, and unlimited scalability. Decentralized financial and communications tech that can scale to a new internet of value and data exchange. Build with us. Veris. Truth and privacy for all. Learn more and join the conversation on Discord.